Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to delve into the exciting world of Mango Animation Maker and learn how to effectively use mask features to take our animations to the next level. To get started, let's open Mango Animation Maker and create a new project. Once the project is set up, we can select a suitable background for our animation. When it comes to using the mask features, Mango Animation Maker offers two types of mask options and we will explore each one. Right. Now that we have our background in place, our goal is to apply masks to highlight specific props in the scene, such as vehicles. To do this, locate the three dots next to the record button on the timeline and click to add a mask. Once the mask is added to the timeline, click on the plus icon to choose a mask style. Now click on the mask on the timeline to access the mask options and position it over the first vehicle. Adjust the mask size to reveal the vehicle perfect. To achieve the desired effect, Let's adjust the time duration for this mask. We will continue highlighting other vehicles by clicking on the plus icon to add another mask. Place it over the second vehicle to make it visible. Let's preview the animation from the beginning to see our progress. Looking great. Repeat the process for the third vehicle. For added flare, let's incorporate more mask effects into our animation. To do this, we will need to increase the timeline length by clicking on the plus icon. Now we can keep adding more mask effects as needed. Using masks is a crucial tool to achieve a professional look for your animation and the best part is how easy it is to apply them in Mango Animation Maker. With our animation now complete, let's preview it from the beginning once more to ensure everything is just right. Now let's move on to the second mask features available in Mango Animation Maker where we will use mask to hide and reveal objects. To use the second mask features, I will add another scene to our animation. Click on new scene and select a background. Now I will increase the timeline length. To use the mask features, place an object on the canvas. Let's say I choose a traffic light. When you place the object, you will find mask options available on the right hand side. Click on the mask tab and choose your desired mask option. To demonstrate once more, I will add another object to the canvas. There we go. This is how we use mask features in Mango and Mission Miko. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching this tutorial and with these mask techniques, your animations are sure to impress. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Happy animating!